All right. So we have come back from both the plane of elemental power and the temple of the elements where we got the artifact for the powerful demon residing after the plane of elements in the infernal throne. <coughs> we can do several things now. We can kill the demon in his infernal throne. We can take the artifact that has clearly been corrupted to Hale in Gloomhaven, who will set, then send us to the Plane of Night, probably to find out how we can uncorrupt uh, we can uncorrupt this thing or we can go to the Forgotten Crypt with Hale in an attempt to uh, find something that would let us seal off this rift in the ruinous crypt to the plane of elemental power. There's like two ways of dealing with this, right? One is kill the demon, the other is take Hale to the forgotten crypt. But also we need to deal with the dark artifact that we've brought with us now. And also, um, in a short amount of time, now that we've gotten the artifact and it's out, and it is corrupted and not being dealt with, there might be um, a demon invasion here. And we can either help that by killing the captain of the guard or stop the prince demon. Um, before we do all that though, I think uh, there is something that has been lingering for a while now. And that is the power struggle between Jaxera and the city officials. Jaxera is ready to make a strike and we can either kill her as well or kill the captain of the guard. And this is a hard scenario, but we will nonetheless try. Just thinking whether I should buy something before that. I have blesses on everyone through, a, if, through an event. Mm. Let's just see how it goes. <clears throat> Jaxera's plan is troubling, but it's certainly sound in some dark, twisted sense. You've seen the guards on the wall. They can barely fight back the Vermlings, and their taxation is strangling the town and your own pocket. With an army of undead, the merchants can govern the city into an age of prosperity and keep it safe from the forces outside the walls. You head to Jexera to prepare to take Gloomhaven. So are you ready to take the fate of this city into your own hands, mercenaries? You nod in assent as Jaxera continues. My army is ready. We march for the Ghost Fortress. A commotion in the foyer startles you away from Jaxera's rally. Rushing into the room, you see a troop of soldiers standing over the bodies of Jaxera's Inox guards. This ends now. Argy's points a crossbow at you. I tried to warn you. Do you have any idea what you are unleashing on the city? It's too late! Jaxera spits from behind you. They can't stop us. My army has already dispersed into the city. It will only grow with every guard who falls. There's a couple goals we probably won't be able to fulfill here. Namely, layabout, I think is hard. Also, the aggressor could be hard. And I can't hamper myself too much, because this is a very hard scenario. And I've leveled up a bit. I don't know if the enemies were level 3 the first time I tried this. 
But my characters are like at the upper end of where I get to see to level three enemies. Head to the ghost fortress. If the captain of the guard falls, any resistance to our new order will fall soon after. Yeah, I think in my earlier attempt where I failed with this, they were level two even. You prepare to complete your orders. Like this is so strong. These guards, you know, the archer elite and also the city guard elite, they have two armor. I probably should have like checked my equipment and everything and also my um, cards for how well they deal with armor. Well, hmm, how early do I want to summon this? Not very early, I think, although it does have actually less attack than my other summon. Creates fire though, which is good. Like, I'm thinking I'll probably just go for like, you know, mana bolt and potentially fire orbs. Um, I mean, Living Torch is also very nice uh, for attack and then adjacent enemies suffer two damage against anyone who shielded, right? Um, and he has a mana potion, so if he went before me, can he go? Oh, at the earliest he can go 16 though. Could do like forked beam. Living torch. Let's see what the others will be doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're out of range of perverse edge. Oh, by the way, this is like a kind of a good enhancement, isn't it? Range on perverse, perverse edge bottom. Obviously, Empathetic Assault is a strong contender. As a first. Or even Mass Hysteria. Creates Ice 2. Mass Hysteria is very good, by the way. Together with anyone who can curse. Gotta keep that in mind. Like, you know, uh, Empathetic Assault, Mind's Weakness is always a very good first turn for him. Establishes his... His buff, his augment, and also gives him strength. And, um, that will be... Like five damage. Mm, movable phalanx could be nice. You know, try to just get in there as soon as possible. Give myself some shield. And then at the bottom. I mean, I could even do warding strength, but I want to go there, I suppose. Maybe even with a hook and chain. Like I could get a three damage with that. I feel like this is decent. Um, so I can either do Living Torch and then move with Forked Beam, I suppose. And here... Oh, it doesn't really matter what he does, except that he creates some light energy. And then uh, stun shot, maybe. I do have AoEs, but they're not. Like a Viving Shock, potentially. Ooh, Disintegration Beam can kind of come in clutch here. Let's 
like... This is also very strong, the disintegration beam bottom. But also energizing tonic top. Just to go fast. And enhancement field bottom could be nice. Would increase his two attacks by one. Uh, unfortunately, I won't go before him. Could do scurry in the mind's weakness. Or scurry and perverse edge, even. You know, like walk here, attack him, stun the other one. Um, the thing that's good about this. Don't want to heal anyone? No. enhances all. Let's just try this turn. See what happens. 55. So they go move 1, attack 3, strengthen self, and a very big attack here. They got 74. Target one enemy with both strength 2 attacks. Which isn't going to be super effective against the shielded enemies. Um, give everyone plus 1. Like... This guy will do two attacks, so that's two damage, right? This guy will do two attacks, so that's four damage. She will do... Um, one attack, I suppose. Which is five damage. So this is a five damage bottom, which is kind of nice. Obviously my top is uh, kind of useless right now, but... Um, also undo mana potion... Create light. I do not need to go invisible. So. This is a move. Three. Oh, wait. Ah, I was just thinking if I could one, two, three. If I could have gone four here, but... I have no way to jump, as I'm not in the flying boots. Okay, do I wanna... Skip movement. Do I wanna make this a two attack? No, this is an attack of three, so I'd rather make the movable phalanx a two attack, right? So I'll attack here with three. What's my deck look like, by the way? Oh yeah, bit of pierce and lots of positive modifiers. Alright, mm, I'm not actually sure. I don't think I need to use the battle axe yet. Because um, there is going to be a couple more like not so juicy situations where I can probably make good use of it. Oh, that's nice. Five damage. <coughs> Then give myself one shield. Yeah, I like immovable phalanx hook and chain combo. For sure. So the mind thief. Um So I'm gonna scurry here, attack here, then stun that guy, right? Wait. I don't know how this enhancement field works. Sometimes I feel if you just stand in it at the beginning of your turn, you get the bonuses no matter where you are. And then it only seems to work if you're actively still standing and while you're attacking. Like here, it didn't seem to actually... Right, just just one base damage plus two was three minus two shields is one. So it doesn't seem like the thing here helped. 
All right. So, okay, I actually can't reach it. Uh, I have to move first. Which, where do I go? Yeah. I suppose, yeah. Um. Which is also annoying, as I don't get the plus one here. That was a completely wasted turn by the Tinkerer, right? Uh, yes. Do this. Want to do anything else? This mm, piercing bow, nah, nah. I always forget that this immobilizes too. That's actually a very good, good effect as well. That's annoying. Okay. Strengthens himself. The archer is stunned. Yeah, do a little bit of damage there. Maybe draw plus one. Yeah. He's gained zero XP. Um, he has loot. He has hoarder, which is apropos. Yeah, I think we want to open the next door now, maybe, right? Like reviving Ether. I do have an interesting cold fire here. So... Obviously trample is a good attack against him, very likely to kill him with all my plus one modifiers. Um... I could just move with... Or I could not even move at all. Just establish my... My warding strength. Oh my god! I didn't put on my items. That was from last scenario. Like, little mistakes like this frustrate me so much. It almost makes me want to just, like, stop this and stop playing. <sighs> okay. So I'm still strengthened. Which, mine's weakness, obviously. One, two, three, four. And maybe... Cranium overload just to move. One, two, three, four, five. And for him. And I'm so far back too, because I didn't do anything useful. I don't really. I could heal this guy maybe. The stamina booster has a range 3. And then just move. Oh, he's gonna move away though. So never mind. Move 4 doesn't even get me anywhere. Well, maybe when he's gone. I would need five though.
Um, yeah, let's go super late or whatever, and then do. Uh, I don't even know. Toxic Volt, maybe. Stamina Booster, maybe. 25. Move one, attack. Move four, attack one. That's useless. Okay. That actually doesn't kill him, right? Maybe the skeleton does. But. This is slightly annoying still. Oh god! Oh god, I'm in range. And they're gonna kill me. So badly. Oh my, I need... You know... I need, um... Invisibility. So much armor. Ugh. That kills him at least. And I'm gonna have to... Damn. It's a horrible start. Like, it couldn't have gone worse. Literally, these guards are so bad. There's like three archers too. Oh, holy fuck! Yeah, I... I don't even know. What are they gonna do? At least attack a little bit. He's gone now. Can't even create warding strength. Come on, kill him. Nope, another plus one. That's a t nice times two. Like, losing two ca cards with him is probably game over, right? I don't even know if I should bother anymore. Obli obviously, heal four on him is kind of nice. Right, and I have a ja move four and a stun cold fire. God, one, two, three, four. I can't choose him. Oh, that's so annoying. I can't choose him, though. I guess that kind of works. Um. Yeah. 
sure, let's do all of it. Rotate. They're all stunned now. Do I want to get anything back? Or what am I going to do next turn? Like, maybe... Like, Impaling Eruption is a very good choice, because it can hit 4, I suppose. Um, I can do Mana Bolt as a move. Or I can do Mana Bolt and Fire Orbs. 1, 2, 3. Uh, but with these I wouldn't get advantage as well, because I'm in... I'm in uh, close combat. So, no, I don't think I get anything back. Um, I could also do Chromatic Explosion. That hits three targets as well. Um, instead of four from Impaling Eruption, if I go here, the good thing about Chromatic Explosion, though, is I can combine it with the advantage from the Mana Bolt. Well, still standing here. One, two, three. Yeah, I should be able to hit these three. So three with advantage or four without? What's my deal here? There's too many good modifiers to not to not use my advantage as much as possible, I suppose. Also, I'm kind of in danger there. Also, there's two people here that I somehow need to deal with. Um... Man, this guy is so, so, so weakened already. Um, maybe Empathetic Assault and Mass Hysteria, actually. Pierce some Blade, push someone. Feedback Loop. I mean, muddling them could be nice. Um... Empathetic Assault, I would hit that one and that one and that one. What's it? Uh, with Master Stereo, I mean four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. What is he doing? Do a crank bow, toxic bolt. Stun shot, obviously, on one of them, I think is a pretty obvious choice. Uh, With him, I might even go, you know, with the Empathetic Assault, I might even go here. One, two, three, three. One, two, three. So then with him, I can go there. Uh, and do the... Where was it? The Disorienting Beam. Like, disarm one. Stun one, disarm the other. Right, with him, so that takes care of these three. She will attack here, and he might, I mean, I could do skewer, although I can't get through these. Unless I do leaping cleave, one, two, three. I might want to do leaping cleave and Unstoppable charge. Goes pretty late, but yeah. Gives me some options. Oof. They go super early. What do they do? Oh, creating traps mostly. And they shield and retaliate at 15. Um, which is nice. Okay, I go first though. So 
heal myself and strengthen gives me advantage on all of them this is the right rotation hits all three um, oh it's not a stun for some reason I thought it was a stun but yeah maybe it kills one or two of them oh damn did I actually draw like a miss and a minus two there so no plus zero and times zero plus two and minus two okay perfect also we created all the elements the fact that he survived is kind of annoying um, so he'll just shield and retaliate he'll shield and retaliate before they just immobilize and muddle interesting um, unless they're killed by these beforehand which they very well might at least one of them um, I think I want maybe the mana bolt back what am I doing next turn yeah like mana bolt and Impelling Eruption or Fire Orb, so... Hmm... I mean, all Cold Fire is very powerful... Next turn, but then I'm going very late. Nah. Also... Oh damn, are they attacking me now? One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And he? They might both attack me. All three of them, actually. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, not this one. Oh, also these two... Oh, are stunned still from last turn. I forgot about that. Well, I have mana bolt back now. Good. Um, what did I say I want to do here? Um, empathetic Assault and Mass Hysteria, right? So feel is good. All with advantage. Plus two. It's nice. It's one damage. Times two. It's two damage. Plus one does zero damage. Well great. Where's where's the skeletons go? Sixty-four. Oof. Okay. Huh. No. They actually attack the corpses, not me. Maybe because this is in the way. Also, lots of traps now. Time zero. Nice. all three of these now with my disintegration beam um, but that's not what I want to do right I want to they've gone already which is actually nice so then I'll disarm and stun, stun them for next turn uh, Doesn't do any damage, but gives him a wound, which is very good with a strong shielded enemy like this. And then go here and disarm him for next turn. Also, nice combo stun shot disintegration beam, gotta say. No invisibility needed. The one corpse just, you know, muddles and immobilizes him and here we can go I mean he has retaliate on the card 
which I'm not sure that probably still plays with the uh, disarmed active, right? Because disarmed only refers to attacks. This guy, though, won't retaliate because he's stunned. And the only retaliate that goes off when you're stunned is one you ha that you have uh, innately, because that's like spikes or something, not something you draw on a card. On the other hand, the retaliate is only two, and I'm doing more damage on this guy. The five. Although, like, if I draw a pierce or a times two... Do I mind? getting too damage? I don't think so. I could also go too further, which doesn't get me anything. Um, at least I'm past them. Plus one, that's nice. No, I don't want to heal. Skeletons probably can't do much. Well, they kill that guy, which is nice. Two gold piles here now. Um, so, I can move two. Because I'm still strengthened anyway. Um, and then do either fire orbs or impaling eruption. Hits amount is about the same amount of people. And then I guess I use fire orbs because impaling eruption has the better move, right? Also, it puts me forward very much, but I'm undamaged. Hmm. Hmm. Skewer is looking kind of nice now. There's not an ideal position to use it from. Because there's traps here. Who can chain? Do I want to get that back? Draw them into their own traps? It's a... The good thing is it's a pull two, so I could potentially pull this one into two traps. There's a trap there as well. If I stood here, right? That would be a one, two, three move. Uh, the f could also push someone three. Like one, two, three. But this guy only has one health. I feel like that's a bit of a. I think I'll short rest. Warding strength. Um, fine, I think. So... Open chain. What do I use for moving? Two isn't enough. Fatal advance might be a little late. I could also go pretty late. And three. Do I want to use whirlwind here? One, two, three. Um, I mean, I could do removable phalanx and the boots. I want to go very early. I think that's the best option. Because then I'll also tank damage that otherwise the Spellweaver would get. Um, let's look at him. So these two are out of commission for this turn, but I still might want to do something with them. Like... Flamethrower, I don't think I want to use that. Maybe Reviving Shock. Do I have any 
anything on the bottom that's nice. I might want to go to the other side, right? One, two, three, four. And then... Reviving Shock. I can use my boots here. Maybe. Reviving shop Shock isn't brilliant, but it's a non-loss. And for him... I don't want to go after that. Although, I could go... Hmm, I could go push someone. Why would I want to push someone, though? <sighs> yeah, I think I want to go late with him. They shield and attack four. That's kind of disgusting. Um, well, at least they don't move. And this is, yeah, stunned and disarmed. So that's nice. Uh, this guy is muddled, but you'll probably kill him. The shield is annoying, though. At least she goes before that. Then they do a strong attack there. Move, just move two and suffer a damage. That's useless. Okay, so I'll go here. I think. Then do my fire orbs with advantage. I do want to kill this one, I think. Um, I might actually do these three in the hopes of, you know, killing these guys so that the corpse isn't killed. Um... That's enough. That's a times two. That's enough. That's a plus two. That's barely not enough. But he won't move this turn. Uh, which is nice. Also, three XP for the fire orbs. He takes a wound. He's disarmed. Okay, Brute. Ooh, I mean, I could also do... One, two, three... And attack him with this. And then maybe a movable Phalanx. Mm, I think the other one is better. Could even go here. Then one, two, yeah. Uh, it is a three damage attack too, so if I draw plus one, I'll do two damage on him, and then three and three will actually kill him. That would be nice. Draw plus one for once. Times two! Nice. Okay, so. Confirm pull. Killed by their own traps. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I feel that this went all right, I suppose. I'll use the chain mill, it's still six damage, holy fuck. Do you just have a, yeah, you just had a five damage on the card and drew a plus one, right? Damn. So yeah, this might actually be the correct time to do this, um, because it get gets rid of him and of him, very likely.
very cool. Plus two and immobilized. That's nice. Like the thing is, if I push him, then the skeletons stay back there, although they don't move anyhow. And this time they'll just kill him, right? some blade. I always forget that it's a three push. That's quite far, actually. Right, they should take care of him now, I hope. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I feel like in the end we're doing fine here. Although I don't like how much cards we've already used up just for these two rooms and there's this massive room with a lot of guards left and then the boss I mean this is a hard scenario I could do a long rest here actually might be the thing to do so that the others can catch up with me also that would give me the eagle eye goggles back Um, what's everyone else doing? The skeletons are probably coming, hopefully coming forward. He might do a long rest. And then these two need to take care of the archer, though. Mm, maybe restorative mist, toxic bolt, actually. Go here, heal him, and then... Toxic Bolt on him, and then do an unstoppable charge. What do I want to move with here? Just a skewer? Possibly. Sure. Um, I mean, he can use the heal. She doesn't really need it, but being able to pick is nice. They just move one, that's annoying. 56, target two, huh? Take the disadvantage. I'm mostly mainly doing the toxic bolt for the poison anyhow. Track three, target two. He's not gonna kill her, is he? Only with a lot of luck. So she will attack both of us, unless I go invisible here, but if I do that, she'll attack the Aster. Because she has range 5, so I'm, yeah, I'm not. What's the corpse doing, by the way? Move 1. Hmm? So heal.
Mm. Yeah, fearsome blade, huh? Maybe forked beam. So I have an impaling eruption left, which one, two, three, even if I move four next turn, probably isn't gonna do much. Might do burning avatar next turn. What do I lose? Yeah, sure, forked beam. So... I cold fire living torch, maybe, huh? Before I kill her, or before the turn is out, I need to move again then. He can do that nicely, because he has an invisibility cloak. Net shooter. Um, is a fine thing to use, I suppose. Although... I'm not entirely sure... What I want here for next turn. What should I do in the next room? Maybe a stun shot? Maybe an ink bomb? Maximum I can move is four anyhow, huh? Maybe a net shooter is actually fine, although I should probably move more than two for that. A short rest. Uh, oof. Is it like toxic bolt? Oh no! Fuck! Oh my god, I hate my life. Why? Is it always like the one card? I mean, toxic bolt is a nice one, but like, why couldn't I use lose like, I don't know, stamina booster or something? Oh my god, I hate my life. So... I think I wanna do net shooter and then ink bomb as a move or something. Oh my god. Okay. Trample is a nice one. To maybe get rid of him. One, two, three, four. Mm. What do I even attack with? Scurry? 
One, two, three. Just do feedback loop and scurry. Which would get me directly into the door here. I'm gonna go late. Move four, that's nice. So they get to be part of the action a little bit. Also, he's doing move one attack four, so. Uh, right, there's so much going on here. Move one attack four is also nice at 66 if they don't killed f get killed first, that is. Move one range four, so... I can go directly into the door. Um, what's he doing? Move three, attack three. So, I'll definitely go here, I think. I'll do my nut shooter. I do my plus one and my goggles and immobilize them here. That's a good bang for oh, my buck. So I like early too. Ooh, this is actually kind of nice. Well, what's he got retaliate from? Innate? Oh, the city guard elite have innate retaliates. Damn. Brute's turn. So, what's he doing? Attack 5, range 5. It's going next to, so... Draw plus one for once, will ya? Uh, also, why am I getting four damage here? What am I getting plus one damage from right now? Oh, from the poison! Okay, just don't draw a miss. Poison paying off. And then I could move him in, although potentially push him away, but that will just, like, train all their fire on me, right? That's one attack four, two attack four, three attack four. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, so he can't move, but he will. One, two, three, four. I can shoot into the door. He can shoot into the door. He can't. He can't. Um, these guys will attack here. One, two. Could go like here. See moving three. That would open me up to one attack, two attack, three attack. Times six. I don't know that's that that's worth it. Although I need to get in there somehow at some point. So I don't even know.
Yeah, I think I'll rather try to avoid all these attacks. Oh god. Oh! This is a nice clump up here. He's still alive. Minus one, nice. And now all the archers. Well, that's archer first, of course. Right. The skeleton's gone. That's the thing, though, too. If I had went in there, I might have, you know, kept what some of the allies alive here, which can actually come in nicely. Those are stun traps. That's nice. Okay, so here... Look, am I gonna summon the burning avatar? What's this move? Three. Range three. So next turn you will be one, two, three, one, two. Mm, I think yeah. him to the front lines. I could have everyone go super late. These guys will kill that corpse and then move this way. These guys have, you know, range 4. Move 2, so... They could get to the rat. Definitely he could go very late, though. Um, although this is such a nice, you know... Flamethrower target, like peng peng peng. Right, so this is a normal monster. I could do Cranium Overload, loss on them. But it's an attack too, and with the shields it's not even that great. Mass Hysteria is an idea. Empathetic Assault, Mass Hysteria. To go like here. One, two, three, four. Could do these three. And that one. Sure. Um. Overwhelming Assault, Fatal Cleave, maybe. I could also get some back through my Short Rest, then do an Immovable, immovable Phalanx. Could also use my Whirlwind, but I don't think I want that right now. want to lose that right now, I mean. Like Unstoppable Charge and Trample are basically the same against these guys, right? Mm. 
could do an overwhelming assault, enhance it with battle axe. Don't have a great turn. See what happens here. He can go super late. I think he'll do a flamethrower for sure. Maybe a crank bow. Mm, or even an enhancement field if they go and move nicely. Yeah. Because that would add plus three damage here, which could be nice. Um, how did I say? Mana Bolt and potentially reviving Ether to like one, two, three, four. If I go two, that's just not enough to get anywhere. Okay, so then in the short rest I'll get two back, which will give me three cards, a little bit of options. Also do Impaling Eruption though, but I wouldn't want to do the loss, right? Nah. City Archer, move three. Hmm. But they have lower attacks. Yeah. And with Muddle, there will be even weaker. So what do these guys do? Move two, attack four. Oh, I should have gone at 67. Damn it. Four. I'll go here. Um, oh, that'll, that'll reach me here. That'll reach me. Okay, like, this is a tough call. Um, one, two, he'll attack here. He'll attack here. Um, I don't think I want to attack him, because he gets a flamethrower charge. But maybe I want to do... It's all elites, right? These two. Plus one. Does zero damage for some reason. So he is immobilized now. That's interesting. Okay, let's see a couple disadvantage shots. Very nice. Not a disadvantage shot, which is fine. 
Not a disadvantage shot. Still lives. Oh. Right. So, of course, I should have gone at 61 here. So his turn would have been lost. Um, do I just go like here and blast them with a the flamethrower like this, I suppose? Although this means I'll get this four attack and this four attack. Which is kind of ouchy. And also, he will one will attack here. Yeah. Got the retaliates, that's ugly. They do get wounds though, which is nice. And here we go. So how do I do this? Kind of tempted to do an overwhelming assault here. I just attack two. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a much better use out of my axe. Ooh! Nice damage. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Blocking my targeting now here. Mm, doing a short rest. Yeah, I have my goggles still. And I do want the mana bolt back, I think. To then do what? Impaling eruption? Cold fire, maybe. Mana bolt, cold fire could be. Although I cannot burn reviving ether, of course. Unless this guy does stamina card, a uh, stamina booster. Hmm. What would what would I do the cold fire on, anyways? Though it's not like I have amazing targets. Could do impelling eruption move. One, two, three, four. If I stand here, then one, two, three. I could actually cold fire 
these two. I would be going pretty late though. Ah. But okay, so then I guess it's gonna be... Mm. Mana Bolt attack and Impaling Eruption move, right? Don't want to go late? Probably. I'm kind of annoyed by all these archers in the middle though. They're always the bane of my existence. Ah, I guess. So Leaping Cleave. One, two, three. And... Movable Phalanx, maybe. That would draw a good amount of damage to the Brute, and also give him shields. I think that's a good choice. Um, where's he? What do I do with this? Maybe stun one of them? He's here. So he needs to move away from these guys. He needs to jump here to absorb the arrows. He needs to move away from that guy too. Could move with Energizing Tonic. Could also do a stun shot on him. He already has a wound though. Could do a stun shot on him. Wait a second. Oh, that... yeah, I can't reach that one with a stun shot, unfortunately. It's still strengthened, though. Some healing could be nice. Maybe, you know, just some restorative mist. And stun shot. Okay, they're all going late. Before the corpse, unfortunately. Do we even have a corpse? Yeah, they are. And the skeleton goes at 81 and does just attack. It's unfortunate. My summon will go one forward, attack that guy. Um, just before he goes, and they do move one, just move one, that's nice. And they do big attacks. They're all gonna shoot at the brute, but... Okay. Could go here and stun that one. No, never mind. I suppose. Oh, oh no, it would give me. Wait, he has an innate retaliate, so it would give me an innate retaliate, which sucks. So I can't do my... this guy, huh. So I don't really have a good turn with him. So I can, you know, go here maybe. Ja, 
and do nothing afterwards. I hate it, but you know. Right. Go here, give him a wound. He won't be able to read. Uh, I'll go here. Do a big attack here, hopefully. Ah. Uh, we'll take it. And plus one shield. Now the archers go. Okay, round 9. I'm getting lower on resources. Mm, short rest or long rest? Short rest. Sure. So this guy will attack my summon now, which is fine, so I won't de-summon it. Mm, he... I guess unstoppable charge. And I could push them, but that doesn't really get me anything. I could do trample. And whirlwind, you know. One, two, three. Um. Huh. Don't know if I want to lose trample though. Stoppable charge would definitely kill one, and then. I can't do unstoppable chart and temple, of course. I could do <sighs> skewer. Doesn't really work either. Because I can't target these two at the same time.
probably a better combo. He could do a long rest, although if they move two or three, they're just gonna kill him. What am I, am I gonna do otherwise, though? There's a normal city guard here I could kill with Cranium Overload. Perverse Edge always works. Could do like Scurry, Perverse Edge. Could do Empathetic Assault. Some blade is gone, unfortunately. Would be fun to push someone in there. Mass hysteria, of course. Empathetic assault, mass hysteria is a thing, maybe. Sure. Let go here. One, two, three, four. Okay, him. Mm, I feel like some AoE is in order. Maybe a crank bow. Or some heals. So this guy is still alive, so I need to move away from there. Although this guy will get taken care of by his wound and by my summon and by these guys eventually, I think, right? So... I don't know, Crankbow could probably... I have a very good deck. Crankbow could probably kill this archer. Uh, it has a range of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I wouldn't even have to move. <sighs> I could do like Crankbow and then move just to with Energizing Tonic or something. Feels fine. Ooh, they go at 16, huh? Move three, attack two. At least just a bad attack. City guard. They attack at range as well. Okay. They like what? Move one and then range two. One, two, so if I stand here, he'll hit me. He'll hit me anyways. Unless I go one, one, two, unless I go like here. Which I probably should. Um, I can still m hit everyone with mass hysteria, I think. Yeah. One, one, two, won't be able to reach me here. Right, so... Heal attack... My summon with an attack four. Hmm... Can I get him? I mean, even if he has a disadvantage, he'd have to draw a miss. Even minus two would be enough. So... I might wanna... Oh, I can only hit these three anyhow. Never mind, that's fine. So he's immobilized. Okay. Right, I have like a... Everything kills him, except the zeros, of course. Plus two, there we go. 
could move six, but... Mm. <sighs> or do I want to tank his shot? So that... The summon lives. No, I can get the summon card back anyhow. Uh, I would like to get some money though. Hmm. He's running a bit low here. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Brute's turn, okay. So I'll probably look at hopefully killing this archer. Which I won't. That's annoying. Oh, that's a zero damage. That's beautiful. <clears throat> they just move one or two, rather. Or three. Oh, nice. Living corpse. Move one. Okay. So now. Do I get my living torch back? I think I do. Then I'll move and recover all of my burnt cards. That will give me the mana bolt back as well. Unfortunately, no impaling eruption. Do I want to go here? Probably here. So then I can do Mana Bolt. Cold Fire, maybe. Or Fire Orbs. But Fire Orbs is a loss. The Cold Fire is so nicely charged right now. Uh, can I get rid of... Like, this guy is busy with these fellas here, right? So, if I can just... I mean, I could trample. One, two, three, four. These are stunned. What's he doing? Poison bolt, maybe. Or give the mind thief a little more long middle little more longevity by giving him, you know what, back scurry. Fearsome blade. I could hit, kill him with Toxic bol Bolt, potentially. 
And this is a in range three. I can't go too far away, unfortunately. Or I go after him. Yeah, that might be good. Feedback loop. Perverse edge or something. They just shield themselves, fine. They move one. The city archers immobilize, kind of annoying. He moves one. So... Give myself a nice little boost. Uh... Wait, is it rotated the correct way? Yeah, so this should... I hope hit both. If it doesn't, then I'm mad. Oh my god! I mean... The stun ain't that important because he's just not moving anyways, but still. I was clearly like, I was just seeing that one move to one to the right and suddenly I was just hitting that one. Yeah, attack that skeleton, that's fine. Ooh, I could also do it to my Spellweaver, though. I can't give him the Reviving Ether back, though, right? Could also do it to the Brute. But I think I am gonna do it to the Rat. Hmm... Rain Leech is a nice one. Scurry is a nice one. I'm gonna do Scurry. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> Plus two actually does a little bit of damage. And the brute. Don't want to push him, just want to kill him. Nice archers are gone, and I actually have a little bit of, you know, resources left <sighs> for dealing with these whole this whole issue here and then also the next room I mean this kind of sucks because it's so high shields and I don't really have armor pierce left I guess I'll just attack him with a standard attack here. Oh, that also gives me a... ...damage. Which is annoying. Right. Fire Ops is 
pretty obvious, I suppose. One, two, three, although I can't even reach all of them. Well, in that case, chromatic explosion. Um, and maybe even activate my living torch again. That's pretty late, though. What's everyone else got? Oh, you need a short rest. Mmm, sure. Like a stun shot is obviously a good one here. Just for the front one, right? So then... Uh, I can move here. One, two, three. Stun shot that one. Um... Then I could, you know, jump he over here, push this one into the trap, or even... Oh no, I've lost, lost hook and chain, but... I can do this, one, two, three, four... Wait, do I not have a push anymore? Oh. Only in the move, and I'm gonna have to leap here, so... Short rest, short rest. <sighs> Ugh. The two best ones. So, I look perverse edge on him, right? And then, maybe a mass hysteria, even. I can't attack him though, I'll get Um, retaliated on. Not the biggest fan. So this guy will be stunned, this guy will be stunned. I guess I can take one damage from him. Uh, not great. Leaping cleave and immovable phalanx, I suppose. I think that makes sense. 35, and they attack at range. Great. Well. Good thing I stunned this guy. Then these two. Don't want to get the retaliate there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, some damage, too. Mm. I say stun shot on him, right? Move here, then stun shot. And there you have a wound. Oh, nice. Okay. Hmm.
Hopefully the shield will hold against this attack. And he's disadvantaged too, but... Um... Ooh. Might actually be the correct choice to put the... To put the chromatic explosion on these two to kill him and avoid this attack on him. Although it would be nice to clear these two and one, two, three walk here as well, I suppose, but I don't know. But okay, so this definitely attacks both of them though, right? Right? Nice. Now I have a move four which doesn't really do anything. Just for the initiative. <coughs> Will they finally be able to deal with him? Well, I think the wound will deal with it on his own. So much gold here. Ugh. Um, he'll just move one, okay. He's still there though, with his three health. Um. So obviously I could do the Living Torch with advantage now, which is nice. I don't even know though. Maybe I'll just do the avatar. How do I get through these traps? What are you doing? Do have a push in the whirlwind, but nothing. <sighs> Need to do it like this, I think. They just heal themselves, move two, attack four. So He will hopefully kill him. I'll just do a standard... No, I can't do a standard attack there, because it... The retaliate will kill me. That's annoying. I don't even know. I could go into the door, but I don't want to trigger the boss fight yet. Um... Supposed to loot five gold, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Oh, I could just go into the stun trap. I suppose. Doesn't do any damage. Clear the way. He's poisoned now. Oh, I should have done this first. Damn it. Oh, 
Okay. Trample doing doing work here and it's PS2. Should probably just do like long rests on all of them before I enter that other room. He'll just kill himself next turn, which is nice. Oh, that's bad. I guess that'll burn Scurry again. I thought he would attack here, but of course. Of course. So... I could do this. Which might kill him. Or summon the burning avatar. I think this is better. Also plus one from the Tinkerer. Then I can actually move three and that might actually give me more than one pile of gold. Yeah, gives me two. Nice. Oh, the zombie actually does it. Oh my, look at the gold here. Well, um, I'll be right back for the finale. See you then.